Khalistani goons target diplomats in US, UK, Australia and Canada. They celebrated Indira Gandhi's assassination in Canada. Pakistan-based K-mob set Indian consulate on fire in US. Khalistanis on rampage in US, UK, Canada and Australia. Is the West reigniting Khalistani movement? Why is West letting Pakistani-based Khalistani rallies take place? Why are some Western nations tiptoeing around K-separatists? Why is West offering safe havens to radical pro-Khalistanis? West's dubious stand on Khalistan is worrisome for India. Anti-India activities see a steep rise in the West. Will Western nations tighten nose around Pakistani-backed rogue pro-Khalistanis? The days when India would take this lightly, I want to see not behind us. This is not an India which will accept its national flag pulled down by somebody. Many countries are very casual about it. They have a, a different view about their own security and a different view about other people's security. But I can tell you, you know, as foreign minister, we are, we are, not, we are not going to accept these kinds of uh, uh, differential standards. I think there is a larger underlying issue about uh, the space which is given to uh, separatists, to extremists, to people who advocate violence. And I think it's not good for the relationship and I think it's not good for Canada. The Indian government says you're being soft on Sikh extremism because you rely on votes from that community. How can you demonstrate to them that they're wrong? Uh, they are wrong. India has been warning the Western government about pro-Khalistanis for years. The complete reluctance by the Western countries to act against pro-Khalistan outfits such as the Six for Justice has perturbed the Indian agencies. The biggest Sikh communities outside Punjab are located in Canada, the United Kingdom, the United States and Australia. The pro-Khalistani movement which calls for the creation of a separate state for Sikhs by carving out parts of India is a sessionist campaign that had plagued India in the 1980s but has now become almost exclusively a diaspora-based effort. 2023 has been witnessing several violent attacks on Indian government facilities, Hindu temples and other institutions by pro-Khalistani radicals in the UK, US, Australia and Canada. These attacks are happening under the Pakistan Terror Factory and the West which is supposed to protect Indian diplomats and consulates on their land and have actually turned blind towards it. Is the West willingly helping Khalistani thugs to flourish? The Hindu community has achieved a lot of economic success and that tends to overshadow some of the very deep forces that are now attacking us. <laughs> According to the report, Khalistani supporters are using automated Twitter accounts to promote vandalism and violence around the world. Evidence of numerous interconnected social media accounts, including those from Pakistan, have exhibited signs of inauthentic behaviour. Online posts with threatening language have gone viral, advocating the use of weapons like bombs and grenade attacks. Alarmed with the rising number of anti-Hindu and anti-India acts of vandalism in UK, Canada and Australia, India has demanded assurance from the respective governments and agencies that the Indian community's places of worship should be protected.
कि पिछले कुछ सप्ताहों से ऑस्ट्रेलिया में मंदिर मंदिरों पर हमलों की खबरें नियमित रूप से आ रही है स्वाभाविक है कि ऐसे समाचार भारत में सभी लोगों को चिंतित करते हैं हमारे मन को व्यथित करते हैं हमारी इन भावनाओं और चिंताओं को मैंने प्रधानमंत्री एलबेन जी के समक्ष रखा और उन्होंने मुझे आश्वस्त किया है कि भारतीय समुदाय की सेफ्टी उनके लिए विशेष प्राथमिकता है इन अ मेजर डेंट एंड प्रो खालिस्तानी ऑपरेशन हरदीप सिंह निज्जर वॉन्टेड टेररिस्ट एंड टॉप लीडर ऑफ खालिस्तानी टाइगर फोर्स वॉज शॉर्ट डेड इन कैनेडा इन जून निज्जर हु वॉज दियर ऑफ द गुरु नानक सिख गुरुद्वारा साहिब वॉज शॉर्ट डेड इन पंजाबी डोमिनेटेड सरे सिटी ऑफ कैनेडा ऑन जून एटीन In the past month multiple Khalistani leaders across the world including in Pakistan have died and the death of Nijjar including other Khalistanis has come as a jolt for pro Khalistani organizations and leaders Earlier the arrest of Varis Punjab they chief Amritpal Singh by the Punjab police in Moga on March 23rd jolted the terrorist forces In May 2023 reports of the murder of 63 year old Pakistan based Khalistani terrorist Paramjit Singh Panjwal surfaced He was among the top leaders of the Khalistan Commando Force and was notified as a terrorist by the government of India. Another Khalistani terrorist, Aftar Singh Khanda, chief of the band Khalistan Liberation Force, died in a UK hospital on June 15th. UK asylum seeker and Khalistani terrorist Aftar Singh Khanda was wanted for pulling down the Indian flag at Indian High Commission in London. Most recently, Khalistani terrorists tried to set the Indian consulate in San Francisco on fire. Immediately after which America condemned the act strongly and said that these groups will no longer be considered as protesters and will fall under the ambit of criminality. The FBI is reportedly planning action as per criminal laws against such groups. We have made our objections clear on the so-called referendum and the politically motivated exercises by extremist elements there. This has also been conveyed clearly to the Canadian government both in New Delhi as well as in uh, Canada and we will continue to raise our concerns with the Canadian government. Punjab is a bordering Indian state. Punjabis and Sikhs are important to India. State and center cooperation is needed right now to tackle the menace of this movement and to maintain law and order in the country and across the world. Disruptive forces wanting to tear the country apart want the unrest to escalate so that anti-Sikh sentiment can be propagated, the Sikh community can be isolated and people start calling Sikhs Khalistanis. That will radicalize the entire community. Punjab is an integral and inalienable part of India and so are Sikhs. And these disruptive separatist forces can never change that with their propagandist actions.